W4 Games, a new company is born by Goddard and Gene Veterans. Hello folks, Andrew from Yellowhead Games here. Today we're going to talk about this news. This came out a few days ago. This new company is born, the W4 Games. It's born by Godot Engineers um, veterans, and they aim to strengthen the Godot Engine ecosystem. But let's jump inside the side and let's read about this company. Okay, here we are in their side. Hello world, this is their first post. They made this to, to launch their company. Like I was saying, with this company, they want to improve the and strengthen the Godot ecosystem. The company is created by Juan, Remy, Fabio and Nicola. Now, you probably know, but Juan and Remy, they both work on Godot and Gene project and they definitely know their product. So this might be a game changer because they can create an environment and an ecosystem and services that are highly performing and highly compatible with Godot and Gene. They want to create a complementary suite of commercial products and services to successfully develop and publish video games to all existing platforms in the market. To all the platforms. That means that they're going to bring our games to Nintendo Switch and PlayStation platform. Now, I'm not quite sure if they're going to bring games to PlayStation 4, because PlayStation 4 kinda ended its life cycle a few days ago, but other announcements are going to be made in the next weeks and months. This is exciting because we can finally bring our games to other platforms like Nintendo Switch and PlayStation environment and this is great because we finally can access to these markets and it's kind of a dream coming true. Now I know that there are other services that make this possible but having this made by Godot team kind of it's it's fantastic. They claim that they're going to be open sourcing as much as they can. Now, I'm not sure if this is going to be a thing because the dev kits to bring the games or work on these platforms are proprietary, so I'm not sure if they're going to be allowed to um, make them public or um, partially public. I don't know. Uh, we'll find out as soon as they publish new services and more information. Now, let's see the FAQ. Now they make clear more and more times that this company is parallel to Godot Engine. They, they are separated, but they work with the same environment. They explain that Godot Engine is going to be always free, no commercial. People won't pay for Godot Engine. They explain that they're not going to take money from the Godot Engine, but they're going to give to the Godot Engine project some money if they have success. And they explain that they don't want to monopolize commercial services and products behind Godot Engine. Like I was explaining before, there are already some companies that actually provide these services. They quote a few here. There is the Pencil Tales. They offer services like game creation, engine modification, networking, editor changes, backend and cloud. There is the Lone Wolf technology, these guys make great stuff because they have worked in different projects and they are quite clear on what is the starting price of their services. And this, I think it's quite important for indie devs because you already know that to start porting your game you need at least $3000 to bring it to another platform. And the other companies actually are not providing this price or this information at all, you need to contact them and they can kinda change each time. Last but not least, there is the Pineapple Works. They work with different engines, Unity, Unreal and Godot as well. And here there are some projects they, they published and some of those I already know. For example, Willy Morgan, I know this game. <laughs> and I think that those are successful projects. There are other small companies out there that can actually do these services, offer these services. Just Google them, probably you'll find others, other companies as well. Okay guys, what do you think about this news? Basically, I'm excited because a new company that offers these services uh, to port your game in, uh, in other platforms, actually, that expands your market and that's pretty great. It's a dream for uh, game devs, indie devs especially. Now, uh, it is specifically for Godot Engine and that's great. I know that there are already um, other companies that are offering these services and you know about that because we talked about that before and I don't know if W4 is going to be competitive with these companies but definitely this is going to be a good thing I mean they 
know their environment, they know their engine. So now I have a few questions. I don't know which platforms these guys are going to bring us. I don't know the pricing that is pretty important. And like we watched just one of those companies actually says clearly in their site the starting price. Is this going to change your uh, game dev? Is this going to make more people using Godot Engine? Is Godot Engine going to be the one people choose for game dev uh, like an industry standard? Now, these are just questions. Let me know about your feelings, about what do you think about this company. And this was all. Thank you for watching. Uh, leave a like, subscribe, leave a comment. Tell me, definitely tell me. Uh, how is this impacting you like an indie dev? And I'm Andrew from Yellowhead Games. This was Wondering Aloud. I'm thinking about this name. And last but not least, keep daring games!